Here's our agenda for the course. We'll be covering a brief introduction to Google Analytics, followed by how you can use analytics to improve your AdWords ROI, and we'll then show you how to create your Google Analytics account. First up, we're going to look at a basic introduction to Google Analytics. In this slide, we can see a sample of some of the more common questions that our AdWords advertisers ask us. Without using Google Analytics or any other web analytical program, you're blind to what your visitors do on your website. Using AdWords as an example, visitors may click on your ad and are then brought through to your site. Now you know from your AdWords account how many clicks you received, but as to what they did in the site, how long they spent and where they left, you're effectively blind. It could turn out that the keyword with the most clicks and the highest CTR may not actually be generating any revenue to your website. Google Analytics will give you a better insight into this and can help answer all of the above questions. So what is Google Analytics? Firstly, Google Analytics is a free hosted web analytics service that gives you an insight into how visitors interact with your website. In other words, there's no subscription charge for the use of this service, and there's no requirement to install a program on your desktop. Later on in this presentation, we'll show you how to create your new account. The second key aspect of Google Analytics is that it contains a wealth of information regarding visitors to your site distributed amongst over 80 reports. It's important to note that Google Analytics also offers the functionality to pull data from one report and display it beside the data of the current report you're viewing. Now, In the next few slides, we'll see some examples of this. Finally, the key benefits of using Google Analytics is that it will help you to better understand where your customers are coming from and how they interact with your site. So now having gone over the reasons for setting up Google Analytics, we'll now look at a few reports that can help answer some of those questions concerning your website. So where are your sales coming from? Opening the All Traffic Sources report under the Traffic Source category will show you all the possible ways visitors use to find your site. If you've set up a goal, for example a sale, you'll be able to see which source of traffic drives the most conversions for you. And what keywords do people use to find your site? Opening the Keywords report under Traffic Sources will give you an insight into which keywords visitors use to find your site. It will allow you to see all of the paid and non-paid keywords that people use to find your site, and again, which keywords are the most valuable for you. And where and why are visitors abandoning your shopping cart? By highlighting the steps customers take to reach your goal page, you should be able to identify if there are any bottlenecks that need to be addressed. For example, are you losing a lot of potential customers just before the final checkout stage? This report will be able to help you see this. Having highlighted some of the reports that can benefit your site, the next few slides will focus on how you can use Google Analytics to improve your AdWords return on investment. Before we begin, there are a few key points that you should adhere to when analyzing data. Firstly, you need to ensure that you have the Google Analytics code placed on every page of your site to ensure that there's no interruption in data collection. Secondly, in order to assess the performance of your site, you should highlight in your account when Google Analytics should record a conversion. For an e-commerce site, this could be the receipt page. Additionally, for retail sites, you should set up e-commerce tracking so that Google Analytics will record the exact details regarding each transaction. The third key point is to measure larger data sample sets to ensure that your decisions are not misled by anomalies. And finally, it's advisable to measure trends, such as how the data for this month compares to last, rather than absolutes. How can you tell which campaigns are the most profitable? Two indicators of a campaign success in AdWords are the number of clicks it gets and its click-through rate. By accessing the campaigns report in the AdWords section of the traffic sources category, we can see that the campaign that generates the most amount of traffic may not always be responsible for the majority of the revenue. How can you improve your keywords ROI? By accessing the Keywords Positions report, 
we can see for each keyword which position is more profitable for us. Bidding for top position may not make sense in every case. And how can you identify keywords that need to be optimized? Bounce rate is an indicator of visits that left your site having not proceeded beyond the landing page. Keywords with an above average bounce rate could be leading customers to a landing page that they didn't expect. Consider the keyword Apple. You may be selling the fruit, but are your customers looking for a new computer? It's quite clear that Google Analytics can give you a wealth of information that may have been previously hidden about visitors to your website. In this next section, we'll go over how you can create your Google Analytics account and link it to your AdWords account. The Google Analytics interface is accessible by clicking on the Reporting tab in AdWords. If you don't already have an account, you need to leave the radio button on the default option, which is Create my free Google Analytics account, and then click Continue. Those that already have an account should be able to link this by clicking on the second option. The next step of the sign up process asks you to enter in your website's address. At this stage, destination URL auto tagging is applied, ensuring that visits from your AdWords ads are labeled as coming from your AdWords account and not the natural search results. Click Learn More for more details on what this entails. And once you've done this, Click Continue to proceed to the next step. In the next step, you're shown the Google Analytics Terms of Service. If you agree, click on the relevant tick box and click Create New Account. At this stage, you're shown the tracking code that must be placed on every page of your site. If you're not going to add this code yourself, you do have the option below to email the instructions to your webmaster. When you're ready, feel free to click Save and Finish to access your account. And don't worry if you forget your code, as you can always return to the screen at a later stage. So with your account set up, the tracking code on every page of your site, and data appearing in your profiles, your account is almost complete. The final step is to set up a goal, and details on how to do this can be found in the Help Centre. Don't worry if you're having trouble understanding what's a good goal for your site, as we'll go into this in a little bit more detail in the next presentation.